Hey facilitators, Meg Bolger here from Facilitator Cards. I am really excited to do a quick demo for you today of Stream Deck. Stream Deck is a software that I was first introduced to when I started playing around with OBS, Open Broadcaster Software, which is a really powerful tool and I will leave some links in the description if you are interested in checking that out. But today we are here to talk about Stream Deck and how I think for facilitators using and not using OBS, this is a really powerful tool to add to our facilitator toolbox. So let's talk about what Stream Deck is and then let me give you a quick demo of the software and how I've been using it as a virtual facilitator. So Stream Deck is a term that I would say is used for both hardware and for software. So hardware wise, Stream Deck, there are three different Stream Decks, um, Stream Deck Mini, Stream Deck Standard, I guess, and then Stream Deck XL. And these are basically panels with LED buttons that you can program. They're quite expensive. And while they're very flashy and beautiful looking, they um, are a bit of a high bar to entry if you're interested in getting into the software that I'm going to be demoing today. But there is also something called Stream Deck Mobile. And Stream Deck Mobile is something that you can set up on your phone, which I'm going to show you in a moment. And um, actually, I'll show you right now. So this is my Stream Deck and Stream Deck on, on an old iPhone. And Stream Deck Mobile costs $3 a month. And you can use the same software, the Stream Deck software that you get to use um, and set up on your computer to program what you want your Stream Deck to do. So let's stop talking about kind of the overview of Stream Deck and let's talk about why the heck I'm so excited about it as a facilitator and what I think it can help us do in our virtual facilitations. So let's hop over here and we've got my Stream Deck set up up top and we are in a Zoom meeting um, because I think a lot of the cool powers uh, are gonna be very obvious here in our Zoom meeting. So as I was mentioning, one of the big things that a lot of people use Stream Deck to do is to manage their OBS. So to toggle between scenes like this, right? You might have a scene where instead of screen sharing, you're going to be sharing your slides via OBS. Um, maybe you have another scene set up for directions and maybe you have another scene set up before you even start facilitating like a countdown timer. So We've got a lot of different options and we can use our Stream Deck to hop between all these different scenes really easily and really quickly while we're in our Zoom meeting. I think this is a incredibly powerful tool and if you're using OBS, I think this is a good enough reason in and of itself to start using Stream Deck because it's just going to allow you to manage hopping between those preset scenes that you have built really easily and smoothly without ever having to touch the interface, right? I was doing nothing in OBS. Um, like I wasn't interacting with it on my computer. I'm just interacting with it on my Stream Deck mobile um, that I have set up. So that's a really neat little use case for it. If you have no interest in learning OBS, I still think Stream Deck is something that I would explore and consider because it allows you to do prepare things ahead of time that you that make it easier to facilitate in the moment. So I'll give you a couple of examples. When I am facilitating on Zoom and I am screen sharing, the panels that I'm used to at the bottom down here, this panel disappears, right? It goes into this kind of like more drop down menu and all of a sudden I can't easily see my participants tab or the chat. I have to like go into the drop down menus in order to find that, which I find really distracting and um, a little bit like, oh no, someone has a question. I don't know what it is. And it pulls me out of being present in the moment. On Stream Deck, you can set up a button to toggle your chat on and off. So I'm just pressing my chat button and it is toggling on and off the chat window in Zoom. And I can do the same thing with my participants tab. I can toggle that on and off. If I turn off the chat, it'll be a little more obvious that you can toggle on and off your participants tab. I find myself closing and opening that all the time when I'm in Zoom because I wanna pay attention to it and then I want my focus shifted back over. And this, having it set up in Stream Deck is so much easier than having to find that button in my screen share or just um, then having to continuously move my mouse around when I'm facilitating. But the thing that really sold me on Stream Deck and the thing that I really want to share with you that is possible is that you can have Stream Deck um, 
use hotkeys, which is how we set up this chat, toggle on and off, right? That's just a hotkey that I've programmed Stream Deck to know. But you can also have Stream Deck type text in that you download or that you program ahead of time. So let me show you how that works. So I'm going to open my chat interface in Zoom. Again, I'm not touching my keyboard other than uh, all I'm touching is the Stream Deck. And then I have some messages that I set up on, on Stream Deck ahead of time. And when I press this button, you're going to see in the chat, it's going to type a message and it's going to hit send. All of that happened by me pressing a single button in Stream Deck. So in Stream Deck on my computer, I set that message up ahead of time. And then all I need to do in the moment is press a single button. So you can have it send a single line of text, but when I'm facilitating, I have multiple things that I want to send my participants, multiple sets of directions that I want to send them throughout the workshop. Oftentimes I am presenting both like directions where I'm like, hey, these are the directions for when you're in your breakout rooms. But then when they are about to go into their breakout rooms, they're gonna lose this slide, right? And so I wanna send those directions into the chat so that it follows them. So I can do that. I can do that simply by hitting this button. It's going to send multiple lines of text and a link into the chat for me. And then let's say at the end, I want to remind people to fill out that feedback form that nobody ever wants to fill out for us. And I hit that button and it sends a little reminder message in the chat. So what I find super exciting about this is that you can preload all of these things ahead of time instead of what I've had to do for the last year, which is toggling on and off my um, or not toggling on and off, but kind of hopping back and forth between my slides and my notes, copying and pasting the right thing into the chat, I can instead just have a series of buttons all preloaded, ready to go, so that I can send it directly into the chat and not have to worry about copying and pasting in the middle of a workshop. So that's just a few of the things that you can do on Stream Deck that I think are game changers for those of us who are virtually facilitating. You can set it up to do anything that you can do a hotkey with. So whether that's screen shares, whether that's recordings, you can program all those buttons to happen on, um, on your Stream Deck. So I've got another setup for kind of a generic, um, a generic Zoom meeting. And so this one will mute and unmute. This one will turn on and off my video. And this one will have me record and pause. So you can set up those buttons to do anything that you want, um, anything that you can think of, and you can have them do multiple actions in a row. So I think that's a really cool thing for us as virtual facilitators. I think it's a really powerful tool and I just wanted to share it with you. All right, facilitators, that's going to do it for the demo today. If you're interested in learning more about Stream Deck, keeping up with other facilitators, and seeing how people are using this, subscribe to the channel, check out our social media, and also the Facilitator Cards blog, where we do a bunch of write-ups of everything that we're learning that can enhance our virtual facilitation practice. I wish you the best of luck in your next facilitation and hope to catch you in the future.